again, my name is Gabe Zolna. This is the 23rd of January, 2019. read a rather interesting article. I wanted to try to find out where Caesar Sayoc is at the present time. If you recall, Caesar Sayoc was arrested and charged with sending numerous bombs to various high-profile Democrats. And interestingly enough, it was done right before the midterms. It was designed to get sympathy for the Democrats by the nasty Republicans. As the story goes, Caesar Sayoc is a registered Republican, but I don't believe that he always was. The article is titled, What do we know about the pipe bomb scare and suspect Caesar Sayoc's arrest? Caesar Sayoc, Jr., 56, was taken into custody in Florida. Authorities said Friday the arrest comes after more than a dozen explosive devices were mailed to prominent critics of President Trump. Well, they actually weren't mailed necessarily to those individuals. Some were sent to the CNN office. Some were sent to Barack Hussein's office. And what do we know about mail that comes into those kinds of facilities? Well, they go into a mail handling room. In other words, those people that had those packages sent to their various offices were never exposed to any danger. Which is another reason why I think it was nothing more than a sympathy scare tactic set up by the CIA. I wonder what operation name they gave to it. They always provide operational names. Who was the suspect? Caesar Sack, 56, a Florida resident, was taken into custody on Friday morning after police raided a home in Plantation, Florida. Authorities were seen placing a tarp over a white van with dozens of Trump's pictures and decals. Covering the window shortly after the arrest, the van was seized by officials and was taken to a secure facility. Now, what's interesting about the van is that those stickers and decals were pristine. They weren't faded by the hot Florida sun, nor was the van vandalized. If you've watched some of my videos, there were actually two vans. Same stickers. The problem is one of the vans had more doors than the original van. <laughs> Slight oversight. He was charged with interstate transportation of an explosive, illegal mailing of explosive threats against former presidents and certain other persons, threatening interstate communications and assaulting current and former federal officers. He faces up to 48 years in prison, authorities said, during a news conference on Friday. This was way back then when he was arrested. DNA evidence taken from some of the packages was used to help arrest him by comparing it to other DNA authorities had on file. I believe that Caesar Sayoc was another MK Ultra graduate. Who received the packages? Now this is interesting. There's a whole list of folks that received the packages. The first package went to George Soros' home. One went to Hillary Clinton's home. One went supposedly to John Brennan, and it was sent to the CNN office in Manhattan. One was sent to Robert De Niro. Don't know if it was sent to his home or his office. James Clapper, again, don't know if it was sent to his home or his office. Joe Biden, on the 25th of October, one was sent to Delaware. Don't know if it was his home or his office. The one for Maxine Waters, it was found in a mail facility outside Washington. Maxine Waters is in California, but she has offices in Washington as well. Barack Obama's Washington his office. Again, he never would have received the packages. Senator Kamala Harris, Sacramento, California. Representative Maxine Waters for Los Angeles. Eric H. Holder, Sunrise, Florida. Again, we don't know where it was sent. The one to Eric Holder was sent 
back because it had the wrong address and it went to Representative Debbie Wasson and Schultz's office. Those were the addresses for all of those packages, the return address. And then Cory Booker's, his was found in a mail sorting room in South Florida. Now, what's also interesting is some of the stamps weren't canceled. And one of my friends who's a whacked out Democrat, he and I go back and forth, you've heard me talk about him more than once, he worked in a mail office, at a post office for quite a few years. And I asked him, I said, what are the chances of packages being delivered where the packages and the stamps on those packages haven't been canceled? And he says, almost nil. And I said, well, what if there were soft packages? Because here's what's written. Why weren't the stamps on the packages postmarked? All of the pipe bomb packages contained forever stamps, but some of the packages were not postmarked, sparking questions about how could they have been mailed without it. Three officials explained to NBC New York on Thursday that some of the manila packages were not postmarked because they were too soft and could not go through the postal machine. What my friend told me is that all soft packages are canceled manually because, as this article states, they can't go through a postal machine. So they never would have been subjected to a postal machine. And what's also interesting is they suspect that they were all sent from OPA local location, which is close to Miami. It's 13 miles north of Miami yet they arrived within days of each other at all of these facilities all over the country. <laughs> and what's also written in this article is that the explosive devices, well, they were sent back to the CAA headquarters. And when I say back to, because that's where I think they originated from. <laughs> yeah. I have no doubt that this was another one of these operations designed specifically to do what they were able to do, to get sympathy from the American voters prior to the midterms as to how these cruel Republicans could threaten the lives of these high-ranking key Democratic officials. Absolute bullshit. And I think that Caesar Seiko is probably going to end up either dead or they'll put him into the witness protection program and he'll enjoy whatever he was paid to pull this farce of a scam off. Tell me where I'm wrong. <laughs> you can't, can you? I'll attach the link. Absolute joke. The devices have been sent to the FBI's laboratory in Quantico, Virginia, to be analyzed. <laughs> That's where it came from. That's sort of what I think. Thanks for listening. The link will be attached.